Reporting live from the Rogers Center for the 2022 Toronto Blue Jays home opener. It's live from last week, episode 68. Let's go, Blue Jays. Clap, 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 clap. Welcome here, my fellow Jay Walkers, to another episode of Live from Last Week. Hope last week has served you well. Just a quick shameless plug before we go on. I want you guys to like and share this video and subscribe to the channel. So, I'm going to start off by rewinding to yesterday, where, just after I signed off from you guys from last week's Live from Last Week episode, I drove myself to the ever-popular Yorkdale Mall. Because basically, I wanted to surprise visit my cousin who is working there. But, while walking around in the mall, I actually ran into a friend of the family's. <laughs> say hi. hi! Say hi to Janelle! Hi Janelle! Congratulations! They just got married oh, last yeah. year. Yeah, they just got married. Yeah. Oh, nice. Congratulations. <laughs> so yeah, Ron and Lynn and Jed, it was nice to randomly run into you guys. And I'm hoping to see you guys and the little one at the next family gathering. But anyways, continuing on, once I was able to locate my cousin and where she was working, I surprised visited her, Warma. Thanks for visiting me, my cousin. <laughs> and after waiting for my cousin Warby to arrive to the mall, we went out for some Japanese dinner and I finally caught up with the War Sisters. So, thanks again for Warby and Warma for catching up with me yesterday, treating me out to some delicious Japanese food, and I'm hoping that we will reunite with the cousins again sometime soon. But anyways, back to today, where I was actually looking over some packages that I haven't opened that I have received over the past couple of weeks. And I'm thinking they had to do a little with the Insta 361R camera that I got a couple of months ago that I haven't yet pulled out of the box because I've been waiting on these accessories to come in through the mail. And believe it or not, these accessories were probably ordered around the time that I was going snowboarding that one time. And when I was randomly doing some online shopping because I was bored that morning. I clicked on purchase said items, meaning that in a month or two, I'll probably be getting some random items that I forgot that I bought online. So here I went to open the first package, which was later revealed to be some screen wipes and some screen protectors for the camera. Next, it was on to the bigger package, which I was very excited to open because it contained the Unicorn Extension Mod. And if you guys don't know what this thing does, it basically attaches to a helmet and holds the camera just in front of your face so that you can have a hands-free camera operation while you take close-ups of your facial reactions. And last but not least, I had two packages left. And I was predicting that they could possibly be the same thing mainly because I ordered one item online. Then, a month later, I got an email saying that the order was cancelled. So what did I do when I got that email? I went right back online and bought another one. And so, a month later to the present day, in a span of a couple of days, I got two different packages that looked exactly the same. So, here I go and open package number one, and it's a 360 mod waterproof case for the Insta 361R. And next, I opened the second package that looked exactly the same. And what do you know? It was the exact same product. 
So yeah, I'm pretty excited to go out now. Now that I have the protective cases for it and use my Insta 361R camera, and I'm pretty excited to see what kind of new videos I can make with the new camera for you guys sometime in the near future. Anyways, enough of me babbling on about my new camera. I've got one random night shift for tonight, but before I go to work, we have a couple of birthday greetings for you guys today. Starting off with one of my beach volleyball friends that I haven't played with in a long time probably 10 years ago. Anyways, this is a birthday greeting that goes out to you, Lavin. Happy birthday, Lavin. And next, we have a birthday greeting to one of my old rising classmates back in the day. And this birthday greeting goes out to you, Despina. Happy birthday, Despina. I'm hoping that all y'all that have your birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and that you had great celebrations for your birthdays this year. Woo! I don't know if you guys can tell, but it's pretty windy today. But anyways, to say that this morning I was busy after my night shift is an understatement. So just before my commute, passing by and seeing the CNE windmill work for the first time, it was a little bit of a bittersweet mini carpool with my buddy Bilas this morning, who, since it was our last shift working together, I drove home as a coworker in the mini carpool for the last time. And after some tear-filled goodbyes, mainly because the sun was in our eyes, I know the sun's in our eyes, so I oh think that's goodness. why it's tearing up. <laughs> it's the glare, it's the sun, oh my goodness. But yeah, no, I'm, I'm forever grateful for everything that everyone has done for me. Alright, thanks Bilas for everything you've done. Honestly, since you were a student to how you are now, <laughs> how much you've grown has really stood out in my mind. So I'm really oh happy that you're moving on and proud of you. I just want to say, it's been a pleasure working alongside you, Bilas. And I wish nothing but the best for you and your future. I'm gonna miss you working with you, man. Miss you. <laughs> oh my god, you're so sweet. I'm actually gonna cry. Right. Oh my goodness. Okay, I'm gonna cry. And cut. <laughs> Anyways, back to some lighter news. Afterwards, I decided to make the 35 minute trek all the way to Oakville. As yesterday, I saw a Facebook Marketplace post for a gift that I was thinking about getting for the wife that I just couldn't pass up. And you know what it was? That's right, it's a brand new used pair of skis. And continuing on with the story, while driving back from Oakville, I saw something that really caught my eye. And if you guys missed it, this is what I saw. I saw the Google Street View car making its rounds in Oakville, and I just felt compelled to go and follow it. And so, after 15 minutes of chasing it all around Oakville, I finally decided to say goodbye to it. So hopefully in the future, we'll get to see the Mini featured in the Google Street View website and say that today was that day when we chased down that Google Street car. But afterwards, instead of going home and getting some sleep, I decided to go to my local Planet Fitness in Mississauga, but it wasn't for what you guys think. I worked out my laptop's editing and uploading skills while using the Planet Fitness Wi-Fi. Then, of course, I had to do my ritual of testing out the Planet Fitness Hydro Massage Beds. But then I also got word that my sister-in-law was feeling under the weather. So I decided to go to the local store and get together a care package just for her. Grabbing her some vitamin C, some chicken noodle soup two ways, one in a can and one in a cup with ramen noodles, some orange juice in a box, some hauls for her sore throat, and also greedily getting something for myself, some Pop-Tarts for my breakfast, and my favorite, a nice Get Well Soon card, which I hope she'll really appreciate. And finally, when I was able to make my way to the Saga house, I dropped off the care package for her on her doorstep, and she was able to show her appreciation from afar, waving to the camera. But yeah, that pretty much wraps up my busy morning when I finally passed out at 11.30, but woke up only two hours later when the wife greeted me with a video call all the way from Morocco. And honestly, I didn't really mind since she sent me a couple of the beautiful views of the places that they were staying at. And continuing on with this long day, after I got off the video call with her, I looked on Kijiji and saw something that also caught my eye. I made my way all the way to Etobicoke and finalized the ski set that I was buying for the wife and got her these pretty snazzy ski poles. So I've got skis 
ski poles, and ski boots just for you, my wife. And yeah, I don't know if you guys could tell, but I'm wrapping up today's segment at the beautiful but windy and chilly Woodbine Beach. But before we say farewell for today, we have a couple of birthday greetings for you guys. Starting off with one of my high school friends who was also a friend of mine when I was living at Neil Wysick. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Catherine. Happy birthday, Catherine. And we got a second birthday greeting for one of my childhood friends and high school friends, who I remember was an OG playing soccer with him on the Blizzard team. Anyways, this birthday greeting goes out to you, Stano. Happy birthday, Stano. I'm hoping that everybody that has their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had great celebrations for your birthdays this year. This morning, after getting less than six hours of sleep, and after looking at my clock and seeing that it was only 6.30 in the morning, I couldn't go to sleep, so I reluctantly got out of bed and decided to be productive because I realized that today wasn't just any Thursday, but rather a day that I could catch up on chores, AKA Chores Day. And I don't know if you guys noticed, but the sponge that I was using while I was washing the dishes was a sponge that was featured on the TV show Shark Tank called The Scrub Daddy, which I actually got almost a month ago, but haven't had time to feature it until now. And what's cool about the sponge is that if you run it over cold water, the sponge actually hardens up and you can use it as a scrubber. But if you run it over warm or hot water, the sponge actually softens up allowing you to use it on your delicate dishes and non-stick pans. And moving on, when I wanted to take a break from all the chores I was doing today, I decided to turn on YouTube on the TV and watch some old school retro WWE wrestling matches. Then, as you guys can recall from this scene from a previous Live From Last Week episode, while pedaling, I noticed that the drive chain mechanism comes off alignment and needs readjusting after only nine minutes into my workout. So I guess on my off days, I'll have something to do. Try to fix this stationary bike. I decided to take some time again to try to fix my stationary bike. And after a little while troubleshooting it, I have finally fixed the problem and now my bike is ready to be used once again. So as you guys can tell, I'm pretty excited about this because I'm hoping now with a fixed bike, I'll be able to get back in shape. Also, I wanted to show you guys a little clip of me driving on the highway on Monday, where I witnessed this piece of art that was on the back of this pickup truck. I mean like, this artwork really tripped me out. Mainly because it reminded me of that old classic movie that I used to watch with my Munning Ed and my Munning Merabee back when I'd visit them in Connecticut. And there you have it, it's called Merchandising. You got Spaceballs the toilet paper, Spaceballs the flamethrower, and now Spaceballs the pickup truck. Anywho, it's about 11 p.m. and it's time to go to bed. But before I lay my head down for the night, I have a birthday greeting to one of my cousins that I used to play 13 Dead End Drive with up in Aurora. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Ryan. Happy birthday, Ryan. I'm hoping that you and your family are doing well this time, staying safe and healthy, and I can't wait to see you back at 52 for another Christmas celebration later this year. So today, I've already had a busy day. Basically, after only getting five hours of sleep, I got up and I cleaned out one of my old suitcases from under the bed because I needed something to carry my laundry. I wanted to do a quick load of a couple of jackets that I haven't washed in years. So I went to my local coin laundromat and did a load of coin laundry for my jackets for the first time since I've lived in Scarborough. And afterwards, brought it home to fold all my jackets. And once I was done, I realized that inside of one of the suitcase pockets was a gift from a friend of mine from World Youth Day in 2011. But anyways, I knew that this suitcase was old and unfortunately, I had to throw it out. But before I did that, I had yet another item that I knew I had to throw out. My beloved triathlon shoes that I used for my Ironman triathlon years back. So before I let them go, I decided to take off the shoelaces. Kind of like something, like a souvenir that I could keep with me for the future. 
And then, when I was ready, I put them in that red suitcase. And along with my old Toby steamer that doesn't work anymore, I went to the dumpster out back, said my final goodbyes, and thanked my suitcase, my Toby steamer, and my triathlon shoes for the service that they have done for me. But yeah, on to the present time, where you guys can see that I am on the way to the Blue Jays 2022 home opener at the Rogers Center. exciting home opener with the Blue Jays at the Dome last night with one of the memorable plays being an overturned instant replay call at home I was just really excited to see the Blue Jays come back from a 7-0 deficit in the fourth inning to defeat the Rangers in their home opener 10-8 but anyways, this afternoon, I'm back at home, trying out my newly fixed stationary bike, while watching the Blue Jays game in the background. I also have some exciting news to tell you guys about. I got an email from Flair Airlines saying that they had a 75% off sale. So, what did I do yesterday before the game? I booked myself a ticket to go to Vancouver in early May. So, to all my Vancouver viewers and my Vancouver friends out there, Feel free to hit me up between May 7th and May 10th because I'll be hitting up the West Coast again and visiting Van City. Moving on, I'm just going to quickly wrap up this exercise session. Try to go to a local Catholic church to celebrate the Palm Sunday Saturday Vigil Mass. Then head in for my first of my two night shifts tonight and I'll just catch you guys again tomorrow. So after going to the beautiful Our Lady of Lourdes Parish in downtown Toronto for Palm Sunday Saturday Vigil Mass, and after obtaining my freshly blessed palms, I realized that when I entered the main entrance of the church, it was the first time I passed through this way since the day of my wedding. And just thinking about all their loved ones surrounding us during that time at the entrance of the church had really brought back great memories. But anyways, right before I went into work, I quickly picked up some dinner at a local Domino's that moved from its original location into this new condo. And in usual bachelor style, with a wife not around, I was able to enjoy my pizza in the comfort of the front seat of my mini. But anyways, on to today, before I go in for my second of my two night shifts, it is April the 10th, meaning it's National Siblings Day. So I just wanted to wish my sister, sack number one, who does this amazing impersonation of this meme that was popular a couple of years back, a happy National Siblings Day 2022. But also, with it being April 10th, I have a couple of birthday greetings for you guys today. Starting off with one of my friends that I met in Chicago going club hopping with them over a decade ago. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Jag. Happy birthday, Jag. Our next birthday greeting of the day goes out to one of our family pets who had made a surprise appearance on one of our Live From Last Week episodes a couple weeks back. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Baloo. Happy birthday, Baloo. And last but not least, a birthday greeting to one of my childhood friends. Someone who I went to dance school with and is probably one of the nicest people that I have ever met. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Katie. Happy birthday, Katie. I'm hoping that all my friends and family that are celebrating their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had great celebrations for your birthdays this year. So tonight, guys, to be honest, I am pretty excited. So excited, in fact, 
that my sleep post night shift was actually a 100 minute nap. So I decided to just get up and be productive by first looking into the fridge, checking all the stock in there, and finally cleaning out that refrigerator for the first time in what seems like forever. I was also able to do some spring cleaning by taking some used clothing and bringing it to the closest value village and finally giving some of mine and the wife's clothes to donation. But yeah, speaking about the wife and the real reason why I'm excited tonight is that after 10 days from dropping her off at Pearson Airport, she is finally coming back home tonight from her trip in Africa. But before I pick her up, we have a couple of birthday greetings for you guys today. Starting off, we have a birthday greeting to one of my childhood friends that I went to dance school with. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Emily. Happy birthday, Em. Next, we have a birthday greeting to one of my Wysik friends back in the day. And I'm remembering that one time that we went tobogganing together over at Broadview Hill. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Tracy. Happy birthday, Tracy. We've also got a birthday shout out to one of my friends that I looked up to while I was playing basketball in the DBA. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Adio. Happy birthday, Adio. And last but not least, we have a birthday greeting to one of my high school friends, who I remember was one of the nicest, kindest, and one of the most sincere people that you could ever meet. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Amanda. Happy birthday, Amanda. I'm hoping that all my friends out there that have their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. All right, so I just got a message from the wife saying that she's ready to be picked up. And as you can see in these videos and in the background, I got my Uber sign lit up and ready to go. And now it's the moment I've been waiting for for the past week and a half. It's time to reunite with the wife at Terminal 3. Hello! Get in, get in, get in! Hello! So after Uber driving the wife back to Scarborough, and after stopping by one of our favorite Chinese restaurants in town, the perfect Chinese restaurant, the wife and I are finally back home to rest and catch up on what she did on her vacation. But yeah, that's where we're gonna wrap it up for tonight and for this week's episode. So if you guys have enjoyed what you've been watching, feel free to follow Jay Walker POV on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. Be sure to like and share this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notifications bell to be notified when new videos from Jay Walker POV come out. And once again, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Stay safe and healthy out there, and we'll see you next time on Live From Last Week.